wrongfully convicted of a Ventura murder back in 1978 is now a free man. News Channel 3 reporter Kelsey Gerkins has the emotional moments of his release in Ventura. Great. Michael Hanline is finally a free man. I mean, it's just, uh, his, um, there's no words for it. I have uh, emotions just charging through me. Hanline has spent the last 36 years behind bars for a crime he did not commit. In 1978, he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the shooting death of Ventura resident J.T. McGarry. Absolutely. But on Monday morning, his conviction was thrown out because DNA evidence collected at the crime scene does not match his. And the key witness in his case was found to be high on drugs when she testified against him. That review, coupled with some additional investigation, has served to undermine our confidence in the integrity of the conviction. So this is a reversal of a conviction based on all the evidence that we've brought forward of his innocence. The California Innocence Project has worked for the last 15 years to prove his innocence. And today, they got their wish. He was released on $2,500 bail. Today is about Mike and ending this 36-year nightmare so that he can come home, he can be with his beautiful wife, and he can live out the rest of his life free. Hanline's wife, Sandy, has stood by his side all these years. She was flooded with tears of joy when she found out her husband will soon be back in her arms. And I'm just happy it's done. It's over with. Over to the most now that you're out free again. Just going home and being with Sandy. Michael Hanline is expected back in court in February for a pre-trial hearing so prosecutors can decide if they want to retry him. Until then, he'll be wearing a GPS monitoring bracelet. Reporting in Ventura, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3.